Oxite is an augmented reality company that develops novel smart glass systems for people who are visually impaired. Our plan was really to build new systems that are going to be able to improve the quality of life for a lot of people who are partially sighted by using computers and cameras and displays to really boost the vision that remains. Basic aspects of the Epson technology are its high definition display, which is extremely important because visual impaired people would like to see bright, high quality images and Epson glasses allows us to do that. Very proud to say that Epson glasses has also allowed us to build the lightest device in the market. One of our recent success stories is with a young man called Callum. Now he has a condition called retinitis pigmentosa, which is sometimes abbreviated to RP. It's a form of tunnel vision. How this manifests for most people with RP is that you generally get a constriction of your visual field. It will happen gradually over a period of time. So one of the things that we do with Oxite, Crystal and Prism is provide that field expansion. So even if you do only have a small area of sight, we can actually get a much wider camera and essentially squeeze a much bigger image into that small part so that at your decision, you can expand that out to see an entire face or an entire line or an entire section of text at one time. That surprised me buying the glasses and when I first tried them on it was just life changing. The freedom to see everything rather than just a little bit was just magnificent. Since I've had the glasses it's allowed me to see the whole TV screen and the whole cinema screen and it's made it easier for me to read stuff. It's just helped me so much just to do my own work and have that independence. We've had a lot of nice feedback on how the glasses are changing people's lives and that's really encouraging for us in the technology development part because we spend all our time programming away. It's nice to be able to hear actually how these have affected people.